Okay, this is behind the scenes stuff. Got a bow and Thor here. Got a custom Hulk. Statue of Patsy loves the Hulk. Somebody made him a custom Hulk. That's pretty, pretty cool. This is part three video, by the way. More action figures. Oh, the Thanos lead guy. Sideshow Silver Surfer. Gremlins. Some more stuff, and these are all the bins for uh, subscribers. Then we have video games. You name it, he's got it. PlayStation, Dreamcast, Sega, Master System, Nintendo, anything old, GameCube. He's got everything. PS2, PS3, Xbox regular, Xbox 360. So if you're looking for an old game, he's got it. Look at this. We got um, Atari games, old Nintendo, old Genesis games, Dreamcast games, all you Street Fighter fans. Got Street Fighter Third Strike, Marvel vs. Capcom Original. It's a whole bunch of stuff. Street Fighter Alpha 2, all with the books and everything. It's got trade paperbacks, major, uh, the large um, Star Wars stuff. Now, this aisle is all trade paperbacks, which he's got a ton of them. He does trade paperback sales all the time. As you can see, it's like a library. Just row upon row of trade paperbacks. I'm not getting into the individual trade paperbacks. We'll be here all day. That's ridiculous. I got things to do with my day today. <laughs> but here's some more of the big Star Wars stuff on the wall. Trade paperbacks. A lot of Sideshow Star Wars action figures, if that's your thing. A lot of the Sideshow exclusives. More trade paperbacks. Star Wars stuff. Trade paperbacks. Look at these trade paperbacks. They're everywhere as I'm walking. More Star Wars trade paperbacks. He's got all the uh, figures too, if that's your thing. All the DC and Marvel. Kind of like the Hot Toys type figures. More trade paperbacks all down here. And you see all these figures. All right, we're gonna make our way here. Now Pat has a few uh, special guests, artists. Oh, that's really cool, Black Queen. I like yep. that. And if you wouldn't mind just introducing yourself and telling everyone. I'm Scott Ethan Amberson. I am a local artist from the Boston area. Excellent. Um, I do mostly independent comic book stuff as well as pinup work. Okay. And this is obviously a lot of your work. Mm -hmm. Looks really good. There's a black and white version of the Queen. That is actually the original. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Original? Yeah, and this is the uh, Here's the, um, painted. the color print. A lot okay. of times what I'll do is I'll do a pen and ink, and then I'll commission uh, a colorist, computer colorist to uh, the colors. Excellent. Okay. Cool. Batman, Halo. So you do it all, Marvel, DC. Yeah, well, this is it whatever piques your interest or what? Uh, okay, cool. So we can start with that. Get the characters. I'm trying to do characters. Deadpool, nice. He's really popular right now. You're spoiled at DC. Batman, Superman. Punisher. Nice. Almost 20 years. Is that Wonder Girl, I think? Yeah, that's, that's Donna, Troy, Donna, Troy, Donna, Troy, Donna Troy. Donna Troy. Donna Troy. Donna Troy. Cool. Cole. I like the George Perez. Black Cat? Yep. Nice. Good stuff. Excellent. Sorry for the glare, everyone. I'm trying my best. <laughs> oh, there's my girl, Marvel. Miss Marvel. Joker. Catwoman, Batman. Oh, Boba Fett. That's nice. <laughs> trying to avoid the glare as best I can. Hope I'm doing your uh, justice with all the lights. <laughs> well, thank you for uh, introducing yourself and telling us a little about your thank you. work. Moving along. How you doing? And your name is? Enrique Chang. Okay. Red Skyler Media in jail. Excellent. And this is uh, what you're working on right now? Brand new series called Azteca. It's about a vigilante serial killer in Mexico who's going to stop the world from ending in 2012. 
Cool. And first issue came out in November, and second issue came out in Valley. Oh, just in time for all the romantics, huh? That's right, and Scott did the cover. Excellent. Scott did those covers, perfect. Some brand new stuff, new free posters in the store today. Excellent. All right. How long have you uh, been in the, you know, art world? In the art world. Well, I don't even think of it. <laughs> well, doing, you know, illustrations, comics, stuff of that nature. Uh, about two, three years now. Excellent. And you, Scott? How long have you been drawing for? Ever. Ever? Yeah. Okay. Probably before you were born. You know? Are you sure about that? I'm 35. Okay. <laughs> so you're working on uh, Young Justice? A little bit, doing character Yeah, we're moving on. And, and you guys are doing sketches and stuff like that for everyone today? Yeah, I noticed it has a much Scott is anime perfect. Feel. It does. Well, same with Teen Titans, too. Right. But that was more like... Yeah, we got some loose action figures down here. Just don't want to interrupt the conversation. Yeah. So I'm going to go through it's some stuff. It's a little stuff. bit more... It's accessible. It's more pan-national, really. Because you're not in there with thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Alright, moving on. Oh, hi. How are you doing today? Hello. And you are? I'm Julie yes. Mayers. Okay. I'm an animator and character designer. Okay. Working with... And this is you. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, that he's doing cake or that... We got a puppet show here today and everything. <laughs> this is my life! <laughs> I'm gonna punch you. Dude, I animate Black Canary. Seriously. And this is all your work, right? This is all my work. Excellent. Um, I do some collaboration work on occasion with other artists who just see my stuff and go, hey, can I ink that? And I'm all for it. Oh, cool. This is Tana. Nice. Um, and how long have you been doing that for? I've been doing this pretty much since 2004. Okay. Uh, I started with an internship and then that went into an actual freelance job. And I've been doing my own webcomic for 10 years and just doing whatever I can to pay the bills, sell my art, sell my heart and soul on the table, and cool. get to nerd out and enjoy being in a group of people who like the same stuff I do and don't judge you for it or beat you up in the playground. Cause well, I'll tell you, all of your artwork looks pretty amazing, all of you, all three of you. Thank you. Wish I had the talent. Actually, all four of you. We haven't gotten to the Everyone fourth person. Everyone has the talent, they just don't realize it. Yeah, mine's just like really well hidden, I guess. <laughs> my dad always baroness. my dad always said that I got all of his artistic talent because he kept none for himself <laughs> and it's kind of weird being here in Reading because he's buried down the street so it's like sort of surreal for me oh. Tinkerbell this is amazing stuff if you guys have like cards or anything with your contact info, if you want, I mean, it's up to you if you want me to like video it, just to get your, you know, info out there. It's up to you. I need my new cards because my website changed. And this is uh, Scott's. This is all Scott's information that we saw today. And there we go. And no, I'm sorry. Enrica. Enrica's work, yeah. Techguide2012.com. Perfect. There's the website right there. And I can be found at wickedlittlestudios.com. Okay. Wickedlittlestudios.com. Wicked, wickedlittlestudios.com. And it was Julie, right? Yes, J U L I. Okay. Perfect. I want to thank you all for uh, taking the time to Absolutely. just be on my little crazy video here. Huh? Anything. Best of luck to you. Thank you. <coughs> here we have, uh, before we get to the fourth person, we'll look at Darth Maul here. <laughs> He's hiding his lightsaber. Let's look at some of his art. This is Norman Lee. He's an illustrator. He's currently, uh, Currently working on DC Universe comics. Some of his work. This is what he's working on right now. That was a variant issue. 
Sorry. Are you still mind if I get in here? Yeah, I just signed him in the work. You just take him up to the, oh, okay. the counter. Yeah. Uh, have you played the game? I have. <laughs> it's great. It's addictive. Yeah, it is. That's the thing. Like, I, I, I know I'd love to play it, but I know that that would suck all. Like, any of you guys, any guys hit level 30 yet? <laughs> no, <laughs> no me neither. Yeah. I'm busy writing. Yeah, I hear ya. But, uh, yeah, that'll own your soul. <laughs> yeah, it will. And this is some of Norman's work. Great picture of Spider-Man there. Iron Man and Wolverine. That's pretty cool. These are all things that you've worked on, Norman? Yeah, those are uh, back issues. Also, um, I've worked on um, some runaways as well. Cool. I didn't mean to interrupt you guys. I just got the camera running. I can't really pause it. <laughs> and you can get all of my stuff at Comically Speaking. Comically Speaking in Reading. <laughs> you get all your stuff at every comic store. <laughs> get the Avengers. You gonna get the Boston show again? Yeah. Oh, it's it's cool. Definitely. Let's yeah. see what you got. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, uh, I kind of have a genre ADD. I do. I, I got a couple superhero books. I got a fantasy epic. Um, did a romantic comedy that just wrapped up last mm -hmm. summer. So I've got them all. So uh, <laughs> you know, we got a nice variety. But uh, yeah, you know, we can do something together. Cool. Cool. I mean, I'm, I'm working. Do you know Caesar uh, Feliciano? Yes. Right? Did you do that vampire story? I did not. Oh, okay. I did not. But um, he's cool. He does uh, pretty good stuff. Yeah. Him and uh, Jim. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, he's a great guy. I think we're going to be doing something together starting starting uh, next week. Like he's he just finished up on something. Oh, and awesome. you know, so and and, and, and he's primarily pencils. Maybe, you know, maybe Spider-Man, right? Yeah, cool. Okay, he's on my uh, friends list, so, uh, you know, I mean, I, I love taking on, like, other stuff and, you know, doing yeah. this stuff. But. Yeah, we're doing, basically, uh, the, the, the Justice League meets Agatha Christie, superhero, uh, murder mystery, and then there were none. Uh, it could be fun, you know. Sounds like it. Marvel says they're gonna we're gonna kill off a uh, character every quarter this year. I'll kill off one every issue. <laughs> I don't know. Cool. Yeah, he's, he's local too, right? Yeah, he's in Connecticut. Um, That's not bad. So yeah, yeah so it's, it's always fun. I mean, you know, I've done some work with um, you know, artists that I've never met that are uh, online from, from from far away. Yeah. You know, and like I mean, I've got a project where I've been working with a guy for two years from Indonesia. And uh, and then the and then the colors go off to Brazil for colors. Yeah, and, uh, but yeah, the girl I'm working with, she's from Brazil. Yeah, yeah. nice woman. Yeah, yeah. It's me out. I know. I mean, the internet has just been you know a godsend for, for creators and, and, and collaborative partnerships. You know. Beautiful thing. No, I mean, do you have a card? Hmm? Do you want me? To, do you have a card where you contact them for? I don't have a card. No. I kind of gave the last batch away. Okay, that's fine. Oh, nice talking to you. Too. Take care. Hold on. I think I do. Please don't draw the picture of the Jesus. You can also end up on eBay. Are you okay with Burger King? I actually did go play the game of Hangman with Kevin McGuire. You told me that story. Yeah. yeah. And I still have the, the Hangman. Perfect. I made him sign it. Here's all of Norman's contact information. I'm trying to avoid the glare. There's his uh, yeah, cool. web address. You just pause it if you need to. Perfect. And this is Norman, by the way. <laughs> it's kind of in the middle of stuff. <laughs> He's the actual artist. All right. I guess that wraps up part three.